हॅलो ऑल माय सेल्फ मिसेस मयुरी कंगळे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ मॅथमॅटिक्स फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ह्युमॅनिटीज अँड सायन्सेस वालचंद इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी सोलापूर टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू सी बायनॉमियल डिस्ट्रीब्युशन द लर्निंग आउटकम मीन्स ॲट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द स्टुडंट्स विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व द एक्झाम्पल्स ऑफ बायनॉमियल डिस्ट्रीब्युशन द बायनॉमियल डिस्ट्रीब्युशन इज अ डिस्क्रीट प्रोबॅबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्युशन विच इज ऑप्टेंड वेन द प्रोबॅबिलिटी स्मॉल बी ऑफ हॅपनिंग ऑफ अॅन इव्हेंट इज सेम इन ऑल द ट्रायल्स अँड देर आर ओनली टू इव्हेंट्स इन ईच ट्रायल द बायनॉमियल डिस्ट्रीब्युशन कॅन बी अप्लाईड फॉर एनी एक्सपेरिमेंट इफ इट सॅटिस्फाईज दीज ॲझम्शन्स द ॲझम्शन्स आर द नंबर ऑफ ट्रायल्स इज फिक्स्ड अँड फायनाईट से स्मॉल एन ईच ट्रायल रिझल्ट्स इन टू वेज सक्सेस द ऑकरन्स ऑफ अॅन इव्हेंट ऑर फेल्युअर द नॉन ऑकरन्स ऑफ अॅन इव्हेंट द प्रोबॅबिलिटी ऑफ सक्सेस इज स्मॉल पी अँड द प्रोबॅबिलिटी ऑफ फेल्युअर इज स्मॉल क्यू सच दॅट पी प्लस क्यू इज इक्वल्स टू वन अँड रिमेन्स सेम फॉर ऑल द ट्रायल्स अँड ऑल द ट्रायल्स आर इंडिपेंडंट इफ X denote the number of successes in small n trials satisfying above conditions then the probability of r successes is given by the probability of x equals to r equals to n c r p raised to r q raised to n minus r where r runs from 1 to n and small p the success probability lies between 0 to 1 such that p plus q is equals to 1 and here n p q are called as the parameters or constant of the distribution as if we know the values of n p q we can define the probability for any value of r now in this video we are going to see the type 2 examples in previous video we have seen the type 1 examples which are the examples defined for constants of the distribution now in the type 2 examples we are going to see the examples in which we are going to find out the probability using binomial distribution first example in a large consignment of electric bulbs 10% are defective a random sample of 20 is taken for inspection find the probability that first point all are good bulbs second point at most there are three defective bulbs third point at least one defective bulb now in the examples of binomial distribution it is important that you should understand what is given in the example and what we have to find in the example so first of all we will write down what is given in the example here a random sample of 20 is taken for inspection from which we can write small n is 20 and 10% bulbs are defective so if we consider the small p as the probability of success that is nothing but the probability of defective bulb then q the probability of failure will be the probability of good bulb and the probability of success that is the probability of defective bulb will be equals to 10% as see here the example says that 10% are defective so p is equals to 10 upon 100 gives us 0.1 and as we know that p plus q is equals to 1 for binomial distribution we can get the value of q as 1 minus p that is 1 minus 0.1 which gives us the value as 0.9 here n equals to 20 p equals to 0.1 q equals to 0.9 and the probability of x equals to r equals to n c r p raised to r q raised to n minus r is the probability of exactly r bulbs are defective where r runs from 1 to n the value of p between 0 to 1 and p plus q is equals to 1 now let us list out what we have to find here firstly we have to find out the probability of all r good bulbs that means the probability of there is no defective bulb and mathematically 
it we can write it as the probability of x equals to 0 as getting a defective bulb is the success and here we want to find the probability for no defective bulbs that is why here we get the probability of x is equal to 0. Secondly, we have to find out the probability for at most 3 defective bulbs. At most 3 means maximum 3. So, mathematically we can write it as probability of x less than or equals to 3. And the third point is probability of at least one defective bulb. At least means minimum one should be the defective bulb. So, mathematically it can be expressed as the probability of x greater than or equals to 1. Now, let us find all the values. We will go for the first case in which we have to find out the probability of all our good bulbs that is probability of x equals to 0. Here n is equals to 20, p is equals to 0 0.1 and q equals to 0 0.9. Here the probability of x equal to 0 is 20 c 0, 0 0.1 raised to 0, 0 0.9 raised to 20 minus 0 using the definition of probability of x equals to r. Now, let us calculate the probability 20 c 0, 0 0.1 raised to 0 and 20 minus 0 gives us 20. So, 0 0.9 raised to 20. As we know that 20 c 0 is 1 and 0 0.1 raised to 0 is also equals to 1. So, here we get 0 0.9 raised to 20 and its value is 0 0.1215. Therefore, the probability of all our good bulbs that is the probability of x equal to 0 is 0 0.1215. Now, let us go for the second case. The probability for at most 3 bulbs are defective that is the probability of x less than or equals to 3 which is nothing but probability of x equal to 0 plus probability of x equals to 1 plus probability of x equals to 2 plus the probability of x equals to 3. Using the formula we can write it as 20 c 0, 0 0.1 raise to 0, 0 0.9 raise to 20 minus 0 plus 20 c 1 into 0 0.1 raise to 1 into 0 0.9 raise to 20 minus 1 plus 20 c 2 0 0.1 raise to 2 0 0.9 raise to 20 minus 2 plus 20 c 3 0 0.1 raise to 3 0 0.9 raise to 20 minus 3 which can be expressed as 20 c 0 0 0.1 raise to 0 into 0 0.9 raise to 20 as 20 minus 0 is 20 plus 20 c 1 0 0.1 raise to 1 into 0 0.9 raise to 19. Uh, here we have 20 minus 1 that is why here we get 19 plus 20 c 2 0 0.1 raise to 2 into 0 0.9 raise to 18 as 20 minus 2 is 18 plus the last term is 20 c 3 0 0.1 raise to 3 into 0 0.9 raise to 17. Now, let us evaluate the values it is equals to 0 0.1215 plus 0 0.2702 plus 0 0.2852 plus 0 0.1901. It gives us the probability of x less than or equals to 3 as 0 0.8670. Therefore, the probability for at most 3 defective bulbs is equals to 0 0.8670. Now, let us go for the next case, the probability for at least one defective bulb that is the probability of x greater than or equals to 1. As n is equals to 20, the probability of x greater than or equals to 1 will be equal to probability of x equals to 1 plus probability of x equals to 2, so on up to probability of x equals to 20. Here, instead of calculating all the probabilities, we can find the probability of x greater than or equals to 1 by alternate way which is one of these results. So, please pause the video for a minute and write down the equation for probability of x greater than or equals to 1 in the alternate way. 
I hope you all have solved this. Let us see the solution. Here the probability of x greater than or equals to 1 can be expressed as 1 minus the probability of x less than 1. As see here probability of x greater than or equals to r can be expressed as 1 minus probability of x less than r. Similarly, these are the four important results which can be used for obtaining the probability wherever we have to calculate the probabilities for large number instead of that you can reverse the problem using these results. Now here we have to find out 1 minus probability of x less than 1. So x less than 1 will be having the value only x equal to 0. So it can be written as 1 minus probability of x equals to 0 and already we have calculated the probability of x equals to 0 in the first case whose value is 0 0.1215. So we get 1 minus 0 0.1215 which gives the value as 0 0.8785. Therefore, the probability for at least one defective bulb is 0 0.8785. Thank you.